There's no mistaking the planes flown by the best of the best, the Navy's Blue Angels. When flying days are over, this is where many of those F-A-18 Hornets are retired, the Naval Air Museum in Pensacola, Florida. We have a lot of airplanes on loan throughout the country, uh, over 800 as a matter of fact, uh, and we're always uh, looking for good venues to place airplanes in to promote naval aviation. When Kent Sheen, president of Innoventor, learned that 2012 is the 100th anniversary of naval aviation, and there was no F-A-18 on display in St. Louis, he began making calls to see if he could help the Science Center acquire an F-A-18. I called a retired vice admiral that I knew, Admiral Mike Bowman, and I said, Mike, how does somebody go about acquiring an F-A-18 so that we could have one at the Science Center? And oh, by the way, I would like it to be a Blue Angel. And he said, well, Kent, the National Aviation Museum down in Pensacola decides, and oh, did I tell you ever, I'm the board chair of the Aviation Museum. And, he's, and I said, so what do we need to do? He said, I think we just did it. <laughs> Which made it possible for this F-A-18 to be permanently loaned to the St. Louis Science Center, a fitting home for a Blue Angel Hornet built by McDonnell Douglas right here in St. Louis in the same place where Boeing builds today's Super Hornet. This airplane was uh, sold to the Navy in August of 1983. It's a, uh, it's a B model F-18, it was uh, B-19, the 19th uh, B model that came off the assembly line and it was sold to the Navy in uh, August of 1983. It was delivered to them. Once the necessary paperwork was completed, Boeing's director of operations for the F-A-18 assembly line brought together a team of experts in Pensacola to get this Blue Angel ready for the ground trip to St. Louis. First of all, I wanted uh, to, um, to find the right people to do it, and I knew the, um, the uh, mechanics at Cecil Field from my time there in Jacksonville, Florida. I knew that uh, they had done this before. They do it all the time, and I knew that they had the, uh, the expertise to do it, uh, do it fast and uh, we were on a short timeline, so they, uh, they were the right guys to uh, do this job. I was one of the ones that was asked to come on this uh, little expedition to come over here and help to remove the wings and disassemble this Blue Angel jet, and I've uh, certainly uh, enjoyed the opportunity to come by and be a part of it. What I can tell you, <laughs> ain't nothing out there to match it. Anything from speed, maneuverability, weapon system, and the whole caboose. Yeah, you know, it makes you feel good, you know. Like I said, you like marking out a place in history. I guess it should end up there if it started out there, so. It was very interesting to see uh, that uh, the uh, aircraft itself was gonna end up back originally where it started, yes sir. I see a lot of them come into the museum arena uh, on display at various museums throughout the United States, and it was just uh, very interesting to know that this one was going back where it was born at. Innoventor St. Louis provided the transportation necessary to bring this angel home. And now this Blue Angel Hornet becomes an exhibit, a fitting tribute to the ingenuity, the excellence, the history of McDonnell Douglas, the ongoing legacy of Boeing. For the St. Louis Science Center, I'm Al Wyman.